guys, Telsey 6 here with Weekly Review, and today we're going to be doing the unboxing for Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. So, let's go ahead and first take a look at the actual box art, which is very nice. You have a picture of Sora, you have Riku, he got his hair cut apparently. Then we have Mickey who's trying to grab a hold of Sora's hand to stop him from falling. Apparently, we'll find out why in the game. As it says on the back, we have Darkness Becomes Light. Light falls into darkness. Brand new adventure filled with favorite Disney characters. Join forces with Dream Eaters to punish enemies. <clears throat> Master flow motion to execute acrobatic movements and attacks. And of course, this also uses Circle Pad Pro. So if you have a Circle Pad Pro, I very much advise you to use a Circle Pad Pro. Even though you don't really have to use it, it is compatible with it. So. Anyway, so I am very, very excited to finally have this in my possession because <clears throat> at first, and I'll admit with you guys, I'm pretty sure everyone at first, when they first saw that this game was coming out, they were like, okay, this is going to be probably another game in the series that's not going to move that far. Now, also, when you get the game, you do get the... Uh, Limited edition AR cards, so we'll go through those also in a little bit. Then we have our uh, Square Enix uh, membership thing. Probably do that later on. Got our Club Nintendo points, so that's nice too. And an actual manual, awesome. Oh, and I like this right here. It's got a nice little cutout thing for all the Kingdom Hearts uh, Dream Eaters and stuff. It's kind of cool. I like that. You'll probably flip it out and change it up and everything. It probably has a reversible cover or something. Anyway, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look at the manual, which is an actual manual this time. Unlike a lot of the ones like Nintendo has been using, they're like the little paper manuals. And of course it's also in color, so this one follows in the story. So if you guys have not played any of the games from Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2, or Dream, or excuse me, uh, Birth by Sleep, or any of those. And if you're wanting to get into this series, I advise you to first play the other games, or at least try to read about the story first before you get into this game, because otherwise, if you're just buying it because it's a Disney game, then you're going to be completely lost. You won't, you won't understand the story. So, when you're using the Circle Pad Pro, of course, you guys, for pretty much anybody that knows how to use Circle Pad Pro, for this game you can use it and it gives you all different types of things like here you have one about the forecast you have different modes like you have the dive mode you can use dive mode controls which are with A, B, X and Y with different abilities then it just basically shows you the screen layout and that's pretty much it and then also if you wanted to they also have on the uh, official merchandise store you can also buy one of the Meow Wows which is for $34.99, and I don't think I would ever buy that, but then again, you never know. So, anyway, let's go ahead and take out the game real quick. And very nice cover. I like the cover. It's pretty simple, but I like the cover at least. But otherwise, though, again, guys, if you have never played the original Kingdom Hearts, or if you have never played... Kingdom Hearts 2, you're going to be lost because these two games are vital to the series. You will not be able to understand the story otherwise without these two and as well as 358 Days Over 2 and as well as Birth by Sleep. Uh, you do not have to have recoded. Uh, that's basically just like a extra add-on thing to the story, but it's not really necessary. But anyway guys, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of gameplay of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance on the 3DS. Okay guys, so here we are in one part of Traverse Town where we're getting ready to take out some of the Dream Eaters. Now, I'm actually using the Circle Pad Pro for anybody that actually cares. Now, I actually find that the Circle Pad Pro actually does very well for this game. And especially better, it's a lot better than using the L and R buttons for using for the camera. But the thing I like about this game more than anything right now is quite possibly the slow motion ability because you do so much damage with it it is ridiculous and I mean as you can see I just leveled up but 
I am loving this game. Like, I, I swear to God, when I first went ahead and saw the game, I was like, I don't know about it. Like, I mean, because I was not happy at all with the way that uh, Kingdom Hearts Recoded was done, and I did not like Birth by Sleep for some reason. I guess it was just because of the loading times. That was the thing that got me. I mean, I'll tell you all honestly, when I went ahead and first played Birth by Sleep, I went ahead and installed it on my PSP, and I thought to myself, like, okay... I'm going to go ahead and try to install it because they say it's better for you to install the game. And as you can see, I just got a uh, glossary for the Heartless. But I installed the game, but it still had problems with the loading. Like, there was so much loading screens, it was ridiculous. Now, I mean, this one loads so much faster compared to on disc. And that just, show, that just goes to show you right there that just because something is on disc doesn't mean it's going to be better. Because everything, usually on disk, takes longer to load because more processing time, I'm guessing, for the, half, for the computer and all that. But anyway, so this basically just is like a little portion in this, uh, excuse me, for the forecast thing where you can take care of all different types of uh, dream eaters and stuff. As it says, go ahead and get started by selecting spirits here on the main menu. So we're going to select a spirit, and we're going to choose... As it says, you will play this playscape to bond with your spirits. Since you don't have any spirits yet, why not create one right now? So we can actually create one by using the camera. And this is actually a really cool thing right here that they're going to be able to make it so you can do. So you can create spirits in two ways. You can either do it from recipes or you can do it from scratch. Uh, and to create a spirit using recipe, you'll need to collect the materials in advance. Starting from scratch may allow you to create spirits in unexpected ways. So, go ahead and move on. Once you've settled what spirit you want to create, you can sacrifice one of your deck commands to give your creation stat boost. And then your new spirit is part of the family. So now we're going to go ahead and create uh, this Meow Wow, actually. So we're going to, let's see... Okay, so we're going to create our new spirit and say hello to our very first spirit, Meow Wow. What's up, Meow Wow? So we got a level 2 Meow Wow, and we can even give our spirit a name, so we're just going to call him uh, Meow Wow for right now. And it says, looks like you and Meow Wow are off to a great start. You can even say hello to them, you can even touch them, and you can bond with them. It's kind of like, basically like a thing with uh, the Nintendogs feature, which is kind of cool. Like, you can go ahead and touch them and everything, and you can pet, or you can nudge them, and it's like, say right there, if you rub on the bottom of them, like, you can do so much stuff with it, it's cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You can interact with them and everything, and they'll they'll do different things, like, and they'll show you all different types of ability links, and you can go into photo mode, and you can take actual pictures of them, but so far, guys, really liking this game. Really, really liking the game, so I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing for Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. So, until then, guys, this has been both uh, Meow Wow and Weekly Reviews telling y'all to take care. Later.